Turning now to COVID and the unprecedented changes, schools challenges, I should say, that schools are facing as students return from winter break. Some schools trying to decide whether it's a good time to go back, others opting to return to virtual learning altogether. ABC's Zareen Shah reports on the frustration that parents are facing tonight. Tonight, frustrations felt on both sides by teachers and parents as schools across the country struggle to safely keep students in the classroom amid this winter COVID surge. I would just describe this as completely flummoxing. What is going on? Major concern growing in Los Angeles County with most students returning to class on Tuesday. Nearly 13% of students and staff testing positive for COVID in the past week. Today, hundreds of families rushing to get tested. I feel half and half, to be honest. Like, she's making friends and she's growing socially, academically, but it's also really scary. But tonight, health experts pointing out that while the decision to go virtual is up to individual school districts, testing and mitigation strategies also work. Masking, ventilation, test to stay strategies have saved hundreds of thousands of person days for kids staying in school. In Chicago, students are facing a fourth day of canceled classes on Monday amid an ongoing dispute between the teachers union and the city over COVID safety protocols. We've got to get the teachers union to get real and get serious about getting back into in-person learning. Tonight, Abbott Labs announcing it will provide 350,000 tests to Chicago public schools. Meanwhile, students in Atlanta heading back to class Monday after a week of virtual learning. Some parents touting efforts to ramp up testing. The contact tracing was really our last line of defense. Here in L.A. County, there is a mad scramble for testing, with this site averaging 2,600 tests a day. The governor unveiling his budget tomorrow with expanded testing for schools. Zoreen Shah, ABC News, L.A. County.